Hello everyone, Han Programmer here, back again with another Minecraft tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna take a look at how do you manage your item attributes like this. You see this diamond sword, how it's held is different than a normal item. And today we'll learn how to do that and some are attributes that you may not know like item damage, item maximum durability, and so on. So let's get jump to the video right now. So as we know, in Minecraft we have a module and a function. So we are now in the modp script dump file, which is the original file from block launcher. You can you can get this from another video. I I've shown you how to get this, and I tell you that this is function, right? And so if we go down, that is modpe dot reset image and other modpe function. Modpe is a module then reset image is a function in that module and so if i go down into the item module here some other programmers may call it package or libraries well whatever it it called differently but so we can see every attributes that we can set here set allow often set allow often the first argument is the id and the second is allow often so if we set the item id which is let's say 280 which is a stick and the second argument will be true and then you can hold your stick in your left hand and then there is item not set category set category id and the item category itself which i've explained in the previous video then there is item not set enchant type which is the id and enchant type and the value which is value is basically like how much xp does it cost it's the more you put it the more expensive it will and the default value of, of the value arguments is one then there's item dot set hand quit first argument is id and the second argument is hand equip as i as you see in the intro I got the obsidian sword there and the diamond sword it's hold differently because of this function if you set it to true the item will be held like the diamond sword if you set it to false it will set to like default item like stick and uniquely this function also applies to blaze rod if you hold blaze rod it will also hold like a diamond sword and then there's item that set max damage this one is very very cool because you can set a damage to an item let's say the, the obsidian sword that i've made there you can set it to like two, two, 276 which means 276 hit until it broke and then item dot set properties this will be defined later in the website because there's more details there then we get item dot set stack by data the id and the value of the stack by data it's normally used for stacking objects by data like um, colored planks, colored sand, colored concrete, and so on because their data defines their colors. And then there's item that use animation item and then use animation. We can go down and see search for use animation. We got bow and normal and we got other ones which is eat. Let you eat the item to use it. And then item that translated name to id is to read a property of the items that you're holding for example you put in blanks like in the commands when you do slash give the same argument of the name is here but it is in string and so now i'm the wikipedia wiki page for the mod pe this is github.io i will put the links in the description and if we see here the item dot set properties this is very very unique because the first argument is the item id and the second argument is a dictionary which i've explained previously in the exactly previous video where i'll define some 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 of the minecraft item attributes and then the as you see here we can define the use animation of the item which is eat 
use duration which is 32 it's in the millisecond i think and then full tag which you can define and you can set also the foil which make it close like the nether star so that wraps up the end of my video today and if you want to you can see my other wiki page um, which is for my mod the forgery mod which i'm gonna release which contains a thousand a uh, hundred more actually a hundred more swords to be played in minecraft as you can see here this is just a sneak peek preview because you know i'm just trying to mess around here as you see here the obsidian stone sword is not stacked by data which is it's stacked to 64 which is weird for a sword but this is just the experimental stage of my mod i'm gonna improve everything refine the textures and so on but if you last to the end of video and you haven't subscribed yet you're gonna miss a lot of videos that i made i made a lot of awesome video including this one so leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell to get notification of every single of my video and i'll see you guys next time